Good morning, folks. I'm meteorologist James Vian here with you. Today is the first alert weather day. We can start to see some scattered afternoon storms heavy rain and gusty winds. But for now, we are starting this morning out relatively nice, mid to lower 70s for temperature, unless you're on the coast, a little bit warmer. And there is some patchy fog with us this morning, right around Swan Quarter, Jacksonville and Keenansville, we could see some of the heavier fog, although visibility. Well, folks, I don't know about you, but today was definitely a hot day today. And even some of you were fortunate enough to receive some showers to help cool off, but it would appear some of those showers are going away now. There is a little bit of a wide gradient with us this evening. We're at 59 Rocky Mount, going up to 72 Moorhead City. So depending on where you are, it may feel a little bit hotter than those 80 degree temperatures. Uh, we do have a slight southerly breeze for most of North Carolina, except Eastern part. It's really not going to affect us until Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to be in the marginal category. I know you're fortunate enough to have that day off. I want to head to the beach. We have a lovely forecast for you. 85 for the high, partly cloudy, which is going to be great if you want a relief from that sun. But that UV index is still going to be very high, so make sure you have a sunscreen and a hat with you. And it's going to be a great day for swimming as well. The rip current risk warning temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s to lower 70s, mostly sunny. You may see a chance for an afternoon shower too, but will it be a washout? We'll tell you coming up right after. I will finish out the day in that 90 degree mark. Overall though, Partly cloudy skies, which is good if you want a little bit of a shade from that sun, if you do have any outdoor activities. Look at our satellite radar. We do have a high pressure system still over the Appalachian Mountains, bringing us that sunshine and cooler than normal temperatures. But what we really want to keep our eye out is this cold front. Look at our precision cast, this cold front is going to start to work its way through into Thursday as that high pressure system goes away. As it gets closer into Friday, it will start to interact with this low pressure system and trough. So Friday, we could expect to see the some storms are moving southeast and bringing down lots of rain and gusty winds. But as August is here and we are moving deeper into that hurricane season. So far, we haven't had any hurricane activity, but if there is any in the, the cold front, really isn't going to affect us till Tuesday night and it's going to transition to a stationary front. Those temperatures are going to start to drop. We'll see an increase in showers. Chances will increase as well. And then hopefully we'll start to see some clear skies by Saturday. Yeah, so I saw mid 90s for inland, so heat issues are going to come back into the picture by the middle yes, of the week. Yes, definitely. Temperatures are going to start warming back up. We'll see those upper 90s again, but thankfully they'll cool down as we progress throughout the week. I'm not looking forward to those triple digit heat in the seas, so no, nobody is. As we away. start to see some storms work its way through, and it's thanks to some warm moisture and instability in the atmosphere. But then we are going to start to see some rain cool temperatures. Temperatures are going to drop to those lower 90s, scatter storms throughout eastern North Carolina and most parts of North Carolina in general. We are going to see those storms continue to roll through into the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning. And since today is the first alert weather day, we do have a medium risk for gusty winds, heavy rain, lightning, and a low risk for tornadoes, which is good. And if we do see any of those, this is what we can expect. Some pretty strong winds, about 40 miles per hour, one to three inches of rain, and isolated tornadoes. Like I said, today we're going to start out in the mid-70s, partly cloudy. By noon, we're going to get up to about 90 degrees. Chance of showers are going to increase slightly. Then by 5 p.m., which is really where we're going to start to see some action and temperatures are going to be in those lower 90s. And I'm meteorologist James Wien. Thanks for joining me this morning. Good evening, everyone. I'm your dolls, James Wheaton here with you. We are starting to see some isolated showers as we move into the evening. Right around Burtry and Martin County, and it's all thanks to a sea breeze that came in contact with the weak boundary area. And those showers are going to continue up over the Albemarle Sound, a little bit more concentrated over the Kitty Hawk and Kildova Hills area. And we do have a low pressure system as well working its way off the Florida coast, and it's going to help push the stationary front closer to the coast of North Carolina. And when it does, we will start to see an enhanced chance for showers next week. And I'll let you know when we can start to see those showers coming up on your first alert forecast. Good Thursday morning, everyone. I'm your all, James Wien. We started out this morning partly cloudy and muggy, but that sun is starting to peak through. And as it does, those temperatures are on the rise. 79 Greenville, 79 Kinston, 79 Windsor now, straight across upper 70s, lower 80s for eastern North Carolina. That fog is starting to clear out as well. There is some fog lingering around Keenansville and Kinston, though. So as you do your morning travels in that area, make sure you are taking extra precaution. Breaking down our hour-by-hour -hour forecast for you. Starting out upper 70s by 10 a.m., 83 degrees. 
noon 89, partly cloudy skies. And then as those showers roll around this afternoon, temperatures will be in the lower 90s, about 94 degrees. And it's all thanks to this warm front and a low pressure system as it works its way through the area. Let's go ahead and take a look at how the system is going to move, looking at our next weather maker. This warm front is going to work its way through this afternoon, bringing in the showers with it. Cold front's not going to come through Friday. We will see some showers lingering around, some clouds as well. And things are going to start to clear up thanks to this high pressure system. As it brings some northerly wind, it's going to cool things down and clear things up. So we're going to end the week on a great note. If you have any outdoor activities you want to do, such as the beach or the pool or even grilling, great day for it. Sunday, our seven day forecast for you. Starting out, first alert weather day. Tomorrow, those showers are going to linger around for the most part. Saturday, things are going to clear up. Sunday is going to be a beautiful day out there. Lower 90s, going to be relatively dry, not much humidity. Then that seasonal pattern will return Tuesday and Wednesday as the chance of precipitation starts to increase. Coastal forecast, similar setup. First alert weather day today. Friday, those showers are expected to linger around. We're going to be up 85 degrees Sunday. No chance of precipitation. Like I said, it's going to be a beautiful day out there Sunday. And then let's go ahead and take a look at this picture sent to us from Deborah Wooten up in Kinston. Thank you for sharing us this picture. We always encourage our viewers to share with us what they're looking at weather-wise. They can do that by going to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or our own personal website at wnct.com backslash weather. And thanks again for joining me this morning, folks. I'm your host, James Wheaton.